Okay, everyone. So we have a topic for today is basics technology. So before I'm gonna start with it, I would like you to watch a video about technology, and then I will tell you. I hope it will be clear. Then I will tell you about the basic of technology. Okay, and just watch this video and get back. is technology technology is anything that people design to solve a problem technology on the streets like trains cars buses street lamps and traffic lights technology in school like computers, smart boards, tablets, and interactive desks. So I hope things clear for you. So technology is all about uh, making things easy for you which thing can make easy for you a car can make it easy for you to go home uh, a phone can let you talk with your friend even your friend is in another country another place very far you can talk you can call you can have video call so technology is all about making things easy for you and faster so this is all about technology and what we have the one part which technology we're gonna talk about today in this book is computer so what computer does to help us uh, in our daily life so what is computer computer is a device work on a data store store data work on data and help us to make some decision so in computer we can save our data we can play video game we can watch movies and we can uh, we can have some activities so we have some work on it so it can help us to work and understand some things so what is technology in our daily life we have to circle this is the uh, for your homework after that uh, you're gonna be doing is you have to circle circle the pictures circle the pictures which uses technology all right so this is this is as you can see in the picture a smartphone in a smartphone you can see is is a technology as we discussed before is easy to call and talk with your friend so it helps us to talk with our friends so this is a technology you have to circle this one on your book and the next one is a desktop computer on desktop computer what you do you watch a video or movie or a game you can play a game you can watch movies you can uh, talk with your friends on computer so this is technology you have to circle this one as well okay the moving on to next one is a laundry machine a washing machine so you have your clothes you have to wash with the laundry machine so laundry machine uh, the washing machine can help us to wash clothes uh, easy and quickly so if you use your hand to wash it takes time but when you wash in the machine it's easy and saving the time and moving to the next one we have a traffic light you anybody know about traffic light what does mean about traffic light okay you can see the traffic light so traffic light help us to stop and move 
is like indication that help us to uh, help us to stop on the signal on the right time so let other people go on according to the time so traffic light is a part of technology as well so you have to circle this as well all right now moving to the next one i think this one so what is this about so this is a bicycle all right how many students do you have a bicycle i think i hope everyone has so is this a technology is that a technology no we, it's not a technology it's just a bicycle that doesn't use any technology all right so this one don't have to circle no circle all right okay moving to the next one is a tablet tablet do you drawing you play game watch movies is that a technology is that one yes yes it's a technology so you have to circle this one as well all right okay so moving to the next one is digital devices digital devices is like smart smart machines smartphones smart machines smart devices all right computer is a digital machine as you can see this is a desktop computer desktop means you put your computer on a table and you work on it you cannot move here or here cannot cannot all right so desktop computer is that you put on a table and use it and the laptop laptop how does your laptop use is that same as desktop yes desktop computer and laptop is same yeah but laptop you can move you can carry here there here there all right so it's you can put in your lap and can work on it all right so in this one we having the same work but in a different way but is a tablet tablet is also like is a computer but this one is more easy to use so what you do you can go anywhere you can go anywhere you can sit anywhere you can watch video you can play game and you can call your friends as well okay all right now we have a cell phone smartphone i hope you all having a smartphone so smartphone what do you do with your smartphone as you can see you can call with, with your friend you can have video call and you can watch facebook and there are so many things that you can do with your phone and you can move around all right so the last one we have is a printer a printer what does a printer do a printer can help us to copy copy the paper copy the paper so it can uh, transfer the data from uh, a computer to the paper form so we can print out anything on a paper with this all right okay so you have this is gonna be your homework that you have to write the name of this of these devices underneath all right okay moving down and then we have computer devices part we have the parts of computer all right can you see so how many parts of computer do we have you can see all right okay we can see monitor cpu keyboard and mouse all right so before going to start about this i would like you to watch a video that maybe you can understand better monitor computer monitor is an electronic device that shows photos movies and games Monitor looks like a TV screen. 
If you type something on the keyboard, it will appear on the screen. CPU. CPU is the most important part of the computer. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It's also known as brain of the computer. CPU helps the computer to remember things. Keyboard. Keyboard has many buttons called keys. Each key has a number, letter, or a word written on it. We can use keyboard for typing. We can type any letter, number, or word by pressing the key of that letter or a number. Mouse is used to point things on the monitor. Mouse has two buttons and a small wheel between the buttons. Okay, I hope you understand the use of each part of computer okay so as you can see the monitor you can see you can see the data keyboard you can write on it mouse you can point you can touch you can point on computer and the CPU CPU is the brain of computer all right so moving to the next one we have how to start a computer this one you have different number first each step you have to do is what you have to do first first number one you have to press the button the yellow color number one this this and then number two you have to click here on the monitor power button and then after that it's done you just have to write the number of each part of computer how to start all right okay so enough for today uh, I will uh, enough for today so we will be meeting for the next video and i hope you understand anything you need to know about you can contact me with my teacher groups any query you need and any homework you have a problem with you can talk you can talk with teacher in a group of homeroom teacher teacher asma you can talk to her and i will let her know so i hope you will be having amazing day i will see you in the next video thank you bye bye